Greg, that was a, that was a game, obviously, where the defense had to make some big plays, turnovers, got a couple sacks. Just talk about, you know, it was a bad day for offense today. Talk about how important it was for the defense to make some of those big plays. Yeah, I mean, for us, it's always important, you know, to go out there and hold it down. So, I mean, us up front, we try to get off the ball every single play and do our, do it, just do our 111th. And we got dogs behind us like Poe. And then we know they're going to handle up. So, I mean, it's, it's team defense. It's not one without the other. So, yeah, we got it done. But how much more accountability did you guys take going into this game, knowing you were without Von Miller, knowing you guys needed to step up? Was there an increased level of yeah, accountability? We know we, we know we got to step up, but Von's still with us. You know, he's still, he's still paying attention. He's still, he's still in our meetings on the phone and Zoom, all that stuff. So, I mean, like, we're, we're doing it. We're doing it for him. We're doing it for us. So, I mean, he's, we, don't, we don't see it as he's out. We just see it as we got to step up, do our 111th out there, and make plays and get a job done. Jordan, you've watched a lot of different pass rush groups in your time in Buffalo. What did you see from the unit today that allowed you guys in the secondary to have some success? Same thing they've been doing all season, man. Um, it was us in the secondary literally going to just give them a half a second, give them an extra half a second to get to the quarterback. We're just trying to hold our hold our end on the back end. And our, like guys like Greg, AJ, DQ coming up with the huge plays today. Um, and, you know, we knew it was going to be a test. That's a good football team coming in here. And, uh, you know, we played well defensively. And uh, we want to continue to move that moving forward. How frustrating has it been? I mean, obviously, defense played well today, but third and long has been a problem. And they gave them a lot of extra plays today. They yeah. Really a yeah. How much of a concern is that? Uh, I want to say it's a concern. It's definitely a point of emphasis, though. Um, you know, there's probably some things that, that we, could, we as players could do better um, on the back end, um, you know, whether it's where our eyes are or just fundamentals or technique. Um, I wouldn't say it's a concern, but it is definitely a point of emphasis. You know, we got to be able to get off the field on third and long. Um, you know, when we get them in those situations, those are situations we should be licking our chops at, you know. And so um, we'll look at the tape and, and figure out, you know, different ways, um, that, you know, whether it's fundamentally or whether it's technique or whether it's our eyes um, to get off the field. Right on that, on the sack of Flacco, did, it looked like somebody else flushed him your way because he turned around and all of a sudden you were in his lap. You, could you see who was forcing him your way when you got him there? No, nah, for me, I was just rushing. I went, uh, I went speed to power, started off with, like, I was on a double swipe. I felt that it was kind of oversetting me, and I just came underneath. But I know, I know for sure the, um, the secondary obviously holding up, and then I got three other dogs out there with me rushing. So, I mean, it's, it's really our mentality is kind of like four equals one. You know, like I can win on one side, if somebody else can win, then if somebody else isn't doing their job, then the quarterback just gets flushed out and runs away. So it's four equals one every single play we make. Greg, did you feel like you guys were getting more effective as the game was going on? Yeah, I feel like with any game, with anything in life, you kind of get a rhythm. And as it, like you said, as the game goes on, we were definitely getting more comfortable. Uh, I know they were giving us a lot of chip looks, so sometimes that's something that could kind of like throw us off a little bit. But for the most part, yeah, we were getting after it. I think I, acknowledging, I think you got hurt in the first meeting with the Jets this year, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. But looking at the big tape, this in Jordan for you too. I mean, when that game was on the line, they ran it on you guys in New York. There was a line of scrimmage situation where they took advantage. Today, it seemed like you, there was a mentality that you guys weren't going to let that happen. Yeah, 100%. We always go out there with that mentality. Sometimes it, sometimes it doesn't go to where we want it to go, but it's always that man whooping man mentality, that just doing our 111, stopping the run, affecting the quarterback, and taking the ball away mentality week after week. It doesn't really change for us. Do you feel this defense getting back to where it was last year when you led the league in just about every category? Yeah, I feel like we're hitting strides. Um, you know, we're still obviously wanting to continue to get better. Uh, there's some, like I said, like uh, like I said, third and longs. We definitely want to be able to get off the field um, in those situations. But you know, we're trending in the right direction. It was a it was a good football team that we beat today. We got another good football team coming in here next week that you know we got to pre uh, prepare well and, and we're gonna have to play extremely well to win. So um, you know we're gonna enjoy this one tonight um, and then we're gonna move forward and turn the page tomorrow. Sure, it seems like uh, in the second half, Coach Frazier was dialing it up with the blitzes. How much did you guys welcome that challenge in the second half? <laughs> Whatever Frazier calls, we run it. I mean, if he wants to start dialing up blitzes and pressure's getting there, like you know, we gotta hold it down on the back end. You know, that's just you know we bring five. That means you know there's a lot of one on ones on the outside. So you know, Dane had a hell of a game. You know, there's probably some plays he went back. But he made a huge play at the end of the game. Um, and, and, you know, we just, like I said, want to keep trending in the right direction. This is December football. And this is, when you wanna, this is where you want to play your best ball. Times, guys, when it seems like there's two Matt Milanos on the field. <laughs> Always. <laughs> yeah, there, that definitely Every game. seems like it. And he got to catch the ball, though. He knows that. <laughs> <laughs> he getting. He yeah, said that, yeah, not me. <laughs> you hit Mike White a lot. Did it? I didn't hit him. He well, hit him a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit him a lot. You guys hit him. <laughs> Does it ever surprise you when a guy 
keeps coming back like that? I mean, Look, I, mean I got a lot of respect for Mike. Um, a guy, shoot, you saw him on the ground. He was taking some hits. Mm -hmm. He kept coming back, and he kept battling for his team. So a lot of respect for, for Mike. And, uh, you know, like I said, that's a good football team. Um, you know, those guys, they probably want some throws or some plays that they, they, that they had back. But, uh, you know, we're, we're fortunate enough to come out with a victory. Like I said, we want to keep trending in the right direction. Jordan, would you concede that in, in a, on a day like this, the conditions the way they were, that conducive to the defense or the, or the, I mean, you guys played good, there's no doubt, but it seems like you guys have a little bit of an advantage when it's that miserable. Uh, I mean, it just it probably depends on who you're asking. Um, I don't like being cold, uh, but <laughs> it is part of the game, you know. I, and, you know, the team, I remember when I was in Cleveland, the first time I came to Buffalo, it was a late December game, and it was snow on the ground. You're flying in, and you just see nothing but snow, and then you get off the plane, and that wind chill hits your face. Sometimes that might play a factor as soon as teams step off the plane. So Sucks. we like to embrace it. We, like, we know our crowd's right behind us, and, you know, rain, sleet, or snow, they're going to be there loud as hell and, uh, and cheering us on. Jordan, Tredavious White rounding into shape. Uh, we saw him following Garrett Wilson at least early in the game. What have you seen from him these past couple of weeks as his play has increased? Do you, do you see the old Trey out there? Yeah, I mean, that he's, Trey's a guy when I, I – I ain't got no worries on that side of the field. You know, he plays the hardest position on the field. His catches are going to get made. Um, Trey Davis is a guy who likes to take a lot of pride in, in, in his craft. And that's a that's an all-pro corner that we have out there. And, and, you know, him getting back into it just – it puts a lot of pressure off a lot of a lot of us on the back end, even even up front. So, um, you know, we're, we're glad to have him back. And, and um, you know, we're excited of moving forward with him. First one, Jack, what you said a couple minutes ago about hitting your stride. This is the second week in a row you've held – Another team to just one touchdown. Is it? Yeah. Damn, man. I forgot about that one. What are you asking? No. Is that another example of you're hitting your stride? Yeah, like I said, we just want to keep trending in the right direction. There's some plays that we all probably wish we had back. I know I wish that I had a couple plays back, that, but that's the NFL. That's the game. It's not going to be perfect. Um, but we are hitting the strides at the right time, and we want to keep, like I said, trending in the right direction. How much you and AJ Espinosa feed off each other out there? Because AJ was out there running around like his yeah, head was on I fire. Mean, AJ's a dog, you know. When I came in, when I came in, it was his second year, you know. He's and he's helped me out with a lot of stuff too, just learning everything. And I mean, like I said, out there, he's a dog. We all of us are dogs up front. Me, AJ, Boogie, uh, Shaq Lawson. You see the effect that we can have on the game, and we just got to keep on stepping up down the stretch.